There are more than 450,000 Chinese students studying abroad. This according to a new report. In the past, most of these students preferred to stay abroad and look for jobs. But recently, that trend has reversed. Now, more than 70% of them say they want to return to China after graduating. Zhang Ningben reports. Yang Guanghua owns a biomedical company whose customers are hospitals. The 35-year-old Anhui native came here to study bioengineering at a local college in 1998, and then went to Spain to 2002 to study biomedicine. I have thought about staying there after getting my PhD degree, and many of my Chinese classmates had the same idea and were getting prepared for that at a very early stage. I was too tired to make that preparation and thought everything might change. In 2006, when I was about to graduate, China officially started making a bigger investment in biomedicine. I thought that could be a good chance to come back. Not surprisingly, Yang got more than 1 million yuan in startup financial support from both the central and the local governments when he started his biomedical business in 2007. Now his company has six branch offices across the country and could make a profit of billions of yuan a year. A recent survey done by a group of returned scholars found nearly 800,000 overseas students have come back over the past five years. In response, Shanghai has already built a startup base that tries to attract more talented entrepreneurs from overseas like Yang. It's called a talent city. Since it was built in Pudong about two years ago, it has helped hundreds of thousands of overseas students and professionals to find jobs or start a business here. There are seven counters inside that cover almost everything a returned talent needs. Hoping their list is how they can settle down here, which means a residence permit and getting a Shanghai Hukou. The second is to find a place to live. As for work, some might want to start a business, and they need to know what preferential policies they can get. She says her institution also regularly presents lectures that are open to overseas students and professionals. The city's package of preferential policies for returnees includes business startup financial support, accommodation subsidies, and help for their children to study here. Zhang Nifen, ISIS for CCTV, Shanghai.